Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In this tutorial we will be looking at duplicating projects as well as sequences. So for instance moving a sequence from one project to another. Um, say you had a scene that you wanted to move to another project. Um, we will go through how to do that. Um, but first things first, let's look at duplicating projects. So if we go back to the project library by hitting this button here in the corner I'm just going to wait for Final Cut to load your projects. Then you can see we've got some projects here. You can see I've got some of my Husky behind the scenes footage. What we want to do is just right click. You can see if we quickly skim over this project, this is the project we're working on. This is just a quick edit of my short film, The Dark and Light of Day, uh, which you can watch on my YouTube channel or on my website, which is danallenfilms.com. Link in the description and you can see that you can either press command D or just press duplicate project now because the um, all the media is staying on the same drive I would go for for 99% of the time um, duplicate project only because otherwise you're going to take up a lot of space and you don't actually need to do that um, and what this means is that your project is going to go in the exact same event will be linked to the same event as before so let's just press duplicate projects only and press OK. Uh, one thing to bear in mind is if you press duplicate project you can see there's a third option. Ah. Well there's a third option to duplicate uh, a project and only duplicate the um, the actual used media. Uh, the cool thing about this is, let's say you had loads of footage and you wanted to reduce the file size, you could duplicate the project, then and choose only duplicate used media, and then delete the old project, and that way you can reduce the size of your event, essentially. So let's go into our new project that we just created. Up here in the corner of the properties, you can choose uh, modify project properties, and we can change the name. We can call it version 2. And let's just mix this around a little bit. So I'm going to zoom out with command minus. Let's just say, let's just get rid of all of this. Let's say we don't like it. There we go. Ah, oh, it's gone. Magic. Um, but let's say we wanted to. Um, put that scene back in. Um, so let's go back into our original. Sorry, let's go back into version two. We actually renamed the wrong one, so it's going well so far. Um, let's say we want to copy a sequence or a scene from this video, this project, and put it into the other project. We zoom out again. Easiest way to do it is to grab all the appropriate clips, right click, and press new compound clip. Then, now that you've got a compound clip, it makes it really easy to press Command C, which is a copy. And then, go back to project, go back to our other project, and then paste it. And there you go, you can see that really quickly, really easily, we have grabbed a scene from a different project and put it into our new project. Now obviously, the one thing to bear in mind is that it's going to reference another event. Let's say that you copied a scene from a different project that was in a different event and used media from a different event, you're going to then, um, this project is then going to rely on that other event being there as well because it is using that media. And now that this project is in here, obviously we can right click and press um, break apart clip items and that will take it back to its original form and but obviously the, using the compound clip makes it really easy and knowing that that's one scene I mean unless you're actually refining it I would leave stuff in compound clips I think it's, it keeps it really nice and clean in your editing suite um, so we can select this stuff 
and select all the audio bits and turn that into a compound clip as well and then we can just double click on this compound clip and go into it and you can edit it as a completely different sequence and you can see we're in a compound clip because it says it right here um, and you can go through work on this, work on the sound design for this scene particularly we can always extend the audio outside the uh, area and then we can just press the arrow to go back to our main project which is cool um, so obviously this is a really nice easy way to work uh, you now know how to duplicate projects effectively um, for your needs and how to move a scene conveniently into a new project. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll be back soon with some brand new tutorials for Final Cut Pro 10 and other great applications. Uh, see you guys soon. Oh, I'll see you guys soon like, uh, well no, there we go.